Well, I finished up soybeans yesterday, and now I'm in a cornfield. Just going to uh, see if it's dry enough to start picking. Uh, I picked a little yesterday just to open up a field, and the moisture was like 28%, so that's a little bit on the too wet side. So what I'm going to do is pull a few ears here, uh, and then get them back to the farm and do the moisture test on them to see if this is any drier. This is actually the first corn that I planted, and as you can see, you see how these ears are they're turned down like that? Well, that means it's mature, it's ready to go, and it's uh, natural for the corn plant to do that because when it rains, when they're turned down, the husk sheds the water and it won't sprout inside the ear on the cob. So there it is, husked back. Most of them are pointed down now anyway, and they snap off the plant easier when, uh, when you're harvesting, when you're combining them. So anyway, kind of randomly grab. Here's one that's pointed up. That's about 10% of what I got. Here's one that's pulled down. So we'll get three ears off of here and then uh, we'll head back over to the farm and husk them all off. And we'll see how that works, uh, moisture wise. I got quite a few acres here on this one, one farm. It turns out, there's, well, I say quite a few acres for New Jersey. It's not a bad bit of land. There's maybe 35, 40 acres here, which to the boys out west, that's a garden, you know. But that's what we got to deal with over here in New Jersey. Now, I don't really have that many acres of corn this year, only a couple of hundred. So it's not really that much to do. It takes me more time to move from one farm to the other than it does to uh, actually harvest the harvest the corn. So, just kind of going to pop through to the next field on the other side. And these ears are beautiful. And again, here's one that's pointed up. And I'll grab a couple that are pointed down. Because if I don't do it that way, I'm not going to get an accurate moisture reading on what I've got. Of course, that one wants me to take the stalk too. Anyways, we're gonna drive on back to the farm and see what we got. And yes, my corn planter malfunctioned on the outside rounds, so it's kind of messed up, but just this one field, I caught it and got it all straightened out. Anyways, I'm on my way back to the barn. Okay, I'm back at the farm and uh, got myself a box here and my corn. I'm gonna have to husk it out a bit. There. You could probably kind of pain in the neck to do this like this, but small ears for some reason, at least some of them are. Of course my population's up around 30 33,000. 32,900 if I remember correctly. If you can hear that that's uh, you twist that and that's a pretty good indication that it's drying down pretty nice and it crackles like that so that's what my father always told me and well, I guess I've learned from him hear that oh yeah she's good and dry so what you do is yeah oh yeah snap her in half then you kind of work your hands back and forth like this and that shells it off throw the cob away you want to do it all in order to get an accurate reading get your moisture tester so at least that's what I'm going to be doing here for the next five or so minutes I'm going to get my moisture tester over here and we'll check it out all right, there it is, in the box. Mix it up a bit. Everything's fairly mixed up. Now this is the uh, this is the upper field, the larger the larger field. 
And I got my moisture tester. Kind of a neat looking little gizmo in there. What you do is you fill up that cup with corn. And my moisture tester's been calibrated. So we hit that there. It's on one, just for corn. Yeah. You can see, I'm going to start to pour it. And then it says to pour slowly. Ooh. Right now, it says 27.3% moisture, which is ridiculous. That's hot. It will cost a fortune to dry it at that rate. So, we'll do it again. We'll do it a couple times. I like to do it about three times just for the fun of it. Kind of take an average of what it is. I don't know, boy, that's awful high. I picked a little last night, but I thought it was close to 30, too, but... Now that I could deal with. Still, 20, it's like 25%. We'll do it one more time. And that should be the average. Oh. My box ain't too good either. We got rain coming at us for Wednesday, and it's now Monday. I really, if it rains again, it's just just gonna get wetter. Yeah, I could think. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna have to say 25% because it was 24.9, 25.2 now, so right around 25%. Still pretty high. Well, I'm going to shell out the other three years, see what they say, and we'll make up my mind what I'm doing in a few minutes.